today, we have other outlets for information. At least today, you can kind of get a sense of how things are true or not true based on really intelligent people that you know that are online that are talking about them. And you go, no, it's actually this. Yeah. Like with that female boxer, like that, that was a big one, right? Where everybody's like, okay, what is going on? Yeah. Is that a, a female? Is that a male? Is that someone has XY chromosomes? I saw that information that it was the XY thing early, but it was just the Levine of, of the, that it's a man just came a bit too strong. Because both information came out pretty much. I, I would, in my sources, I would say I saw a similar time where it was like, oh, it's a man, but then you just open another, scroll a bit more, and then you see the XY chromosome thingy. And then you're like, okay, but just the Levine of that it's a dude came on a bit strong. Well, the XY chromosome is male. Yeah, yeah, it's that male. Yeah, but right. the definition of like was because uh, I think the first uh, the first reaction was that it's a man transitioning to a woman. Right. right, that's what people thought initially, and then they realized no, this is someone who has uh, a genetic issue. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but the the uh, there was another there's a boxing committee that had I'm going to send you this, Jamie, because this kind of makes it all make like a little bit more sense but it was essentially that um there's there's different versions of these kinds of diseases that people have and depending on those versions some of them they're just they're they go through male puberty and they have male frames and they're male mm -hmm. but when they're born, they have like the some significant yeah. issues. Okay, so here it is. I found it, and I'll send it to you, Jamie. But it's European vice president of the World Boxing Organization has come forward to confirm that Algerian boxer Emane Khalif is male. Uh, this person said uh, he warned the Olympic Committee about several male boxers in the women's category, but nothing was done. Um, who knows? You know, I don't... I, I don't have any direct yeah. information about whether that is a male or female. Then, Let's just say that one two slaps. <laughs> and one two is not bad, but also that person's lost before. Yeah. Um, to to female boxers, but here's the thing. But that doesn't that doesn't yeah, mean that, doesn't that mean. like there's a lot of girls out there, boys that can kick your ass. Exactly. There are. You know, mm -hmm. get in the ring with Amanda Nunes. Right. Good luck, bitch. She'll fuck you up, mm -hmm. and she's a woman, right? Mm -hmm. There's women that are really, really good, and this person might not be that good, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but it seems like they went through male puberty, which should exclude you from competing as a woman. They look male. They have male frame. They have XY chromosome. Like, oh. You're being told that you're a bigot for looking at very obvious yeah. what we we have always considered biological representations right so like what what is what is it in biology when something is a male human being yeah. do they have an xx chromosome or do they have an xy they say well they have an xy well we know that but saying that mm -hmm. makes you a bigot yeah, which as, is insanity as a, as a sport as a sports commissioner that's very black and white for me, at least a chromosomal issue. You know, well, that's what the enhanced games is. As a human, about doing. I do feel em empathetic towards her. You know, as a, it's just it's a bit of a pickle. <laughs> yeah, but I don't necessarily know if that's a her. This is the problem. What they're saying it's a male with a sexually some developmental disease mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. they or mm -hmm. developmental an issue, some genetic mm -hmm. anomaly, something that happens to mm -hmm. them. But they're going. They have testes. And they go through male puberty, and they don't have the ability to get pregnant. Yeah, I don't even know if they have ovaries. Mm -hmm. Do they have ovaries? I don't know. I was gonna, <laughs> in this situation, I don't, I don't know, think they have eggs. I'm reading a version that CBS Sports put out where they talked to the in International Olymp Olympics Committee and the uh, IBA. They're the, saying these tests are not legitimate tests. Yeah, they, I was going to bring this up too. They were saying that some people think that it's because the Soviets did them. They don't trust them. So the International Olympic Committee spokesperson Mark uh, Adams said in a press conference on Sunday, the tests themselves, the process of the tests, and the ad hoc nature of the tests are not legitimate. The testing, the method of the testing, the idea of the testing, which happened kind of overnight, none of it is legitimate, and this does not deserve any response. Okay, that's... By saying it's not legitimate is a very weird thing. I, I had read it came up after this event where yep. she beat an undefeated boxer and then people got right mad. Right. But did this person, let's Google this then. Did this person, this boxer, did they take a chromosome test? 
that. And did this, you see that article that this I sent article, you? This article says that that originally, right here, the, originally the test was kept confidential. Mm-hmm. Well, did yeah. not go on, did not undergo a testosterone examination, but were subject to a separate and recognized test whereby the specifics remain confidential. Then the next day, or like Monday, I don't know how many days later that was, then they came out and said something different. These testings show they have a high level of testosterone. Kremlev said, like men, they have men's level of testosterone. We cannot go further in our investigation. Whether they were born like men or some changers intervene at the later stages. And then that's where the IOC said what you read earlier, where these tests are not legitimate. Right, right, but they're not saying why they're not legitimate. This is what gives me pause. When they just keep saying it's not legitimate, the ad hoc nature of the tests are not legitimate, you have to say, when you're talking about a scientific test,